My name is Joey Roth. I'm a product designer. Today, we're at my friend Andrew's record shop called Beacon Sound. It's on Mississippi Avenue in Northeast Portland. Typically, people think about product design as making something really easy to use or really fast to use. And I think that that's a valuable approach if you're designing something really functional like a medical device or a car. Things where if something isn't immediately intuitive, you could put somebody's life at risk or you could create a dangerous situation. But for things like listening to music, I've always found that there's a valuable trade-off between putting a little bit more effort into it and getting a much more rich experience as a result. My interest in product design is in a really general way, taking everyday rituals like making tea or having coffee or listening to music and designing products that kind of emphasize the beauty or the interesting aspects of those rituals so that you don't do them and just go through the motions and kind of get the result. You actually think about the process as you're making your coffee or tea or listening to music. And that's a really, really general way of getting to my approach, which is emphasizing aspects of the process that are interesting and de-emphasizing aspects of the process that are annoying. So today I'm going to be talking about how to go from an idea for a product, something that you think would be really beautiful or really cool or useful, and within the period of hopefully less than a year, have that as a physical product in your hands that you can then sell to lots of people on the internet. What I'm gonna be saying over and over again is that the design itself, like the, the very starting idea, is really the most important thing. Everything after that is just allowing the world to experience that initial idea as closely as possible. And everything is very, very idealized before you get it down on paper. Everything just sort of works out in your mind, which is great because it allows you more freedom to think about what you want it to be. But the first step of exposing that idea to reality is going to a sketchbook and actually drawing out some ideas of what it might be. So I'm very, very excited to see the submissions in the gallery. I love it when I show my early versions of products to other designers who, whose work I really appreciate and whose opinion I respect and they give me feedback. And that's a very big part of my process. So I hope to kind of get that process going with people who submit to the gallery. And ideally, I'd like to see one or two products launched from this class. And you know, depending on the work that's submitted, I would love to help with that process.